So that does it as far as getting started with using Jamovi to do uh, statistical analyses. So you can see that all of what we've been doing can be done pretty efficiently using this computer software. And we can get the kinds of information that we need in order to draw conclusions about psychological research studies. So in review, what we've done is to look at first how to load in your data. You're just picking up a CSV file. That's the kind of file that... Uh, Jamovi likes to use. So you can make this in Excel or other sorts of programs. Uh, if you're interested, you can also look into how to enter data into Jamovi directly. Uh, but for anything that we'll do in this class, uh, you will get a CSV file from me, and then you'll do the tests on those data. Uh, and then we saw how when we load in those data, we can start already to pick apart what that study looked like by looking at the descriptive statistics. So we could look at the frequencies for categorical and nominal variables by making frequency tables. Uh, and we also looked at how to find the mean, the median, the mode, the standard deviation, and then a bunch of other stuff uh, that may or may not be useful for our continuous variables. So that's an easy way to get an idea of what happened in your study. Then we looked at applying the kinds of statistical tests that we've learned how to do so far. So we've done a one sample t-test where we compared the mean of our sample to some comparison number to see if there was a significant difference. Then we looked at a dependent or a paired samples t-test to compare two means against one another. Then an independent t-test to compare means from two different groups and a one-way ANOVA to compare means for more than two groups. So in part, this set of exercises in, is meant to help you review the different kinds of tests that we already know how to do, remind yourself of frequency tables, of means, of medians, of standard deviations, and then also, importantly, give you a chance to see how in the real world when statisticians and researchers are doing the kinds of research that they need to do to understand psychology and other social scientific results, we can use programs like this to make the process a whole lot more efficient than doing it by hand. But having done it by hand, you can see how the results we get from the computer make more sense, right? You know how to interpret what the T statistic is, what the degrees of freedom are, what the P value means, what the Cohen's D refers to, etc. So I, I encourage you to poke around Jamovi to apply new tests, see what other checkboxes do. But at a minimum, what we've done so far in these videos sets you up for the next homework. So in the next homework, Make sure you read the instructions carefully. You copy and paste your results directly from Jamovi into your homework. And then there's also parts of it that are encouraging you to interpret what those results mean. Right? So you'll be able to know was a significant difference or not based on what you see in the Jamovi output. So that caps off this week of video tutorials. Hopefully it was relatively painless, a uh, pretty simple way to go through a week of classes. Uh, but do be sure to use what you've learned here when doing your next assignment. In a couple of weeks, we're going to come back to some of these videos to do new tests that we'll learn uh, as we go along in class. So this is not a one shot and it's over Jamovi set of tutorials. You want to at least keep a little bit fresh in terms of thinking about how you load in those data and so forth. So these these videos will be there for you even when you're doing your final homework for this class. So I hope you enjoy these videos as much as one can enjoy uh, video tutorials of statistical software. Uh, and I will see you uh, next week when we come back for class.